Hi guys, in this video I will show you a database in Meteor. Meteor by default comes with uh, MongoDB uh, which is a NoSQL database. There are several advantages of using MongoDB. You can find them in, a, in their official site mongodb.org and uh, they also have very good documentations. Okay. First of all, one of the main features of Meteor JS is database everywhere that means we have database in client and also server in the client database we have all, all the records of, of, of the database to which the user subscribes to and and the database in in client side automatically updates whenever the data changes in server side suppose if you user subscribe to a particular collection called employees whenever the data changes that means any data, any record inserted into that employees collection then it automatically reflects in the database in client side now i'm going to create a project and name it as mongo demo jump into my director and i'm running the project I'm adding Booster 3 package for some styling. I'm gonna delete this default code and yeah first of all I'm gonna create a collection collection is like a, a table in a SQL and name it as EMP we create a new collection the syntax is new meter dot collection of collection name employees and then test and now I'm gonna insert now I'm gonna insert request to this employee database so let me create a simple form yeah here just uh, I just create one form is insert form to insert records to the database now I'm gonna write events first first one is uh, insert form event on insertion of this form First, uh, first thing I will do is prevent default preventing it from redirecting to another URL and then first and then we are taking the values from the input boxes first one is name and name equal to t dot find out The same and taking the salary now here is the code employee dot insert of I want the name as name and salary as salary here you can give ID on your own or if you don't give any id it will create a unique id now i'm gonna display all those records in in this in this code here we are looping through each records the, here we are going to write 
the helper for this records template dot form dot helpers this helper returns all the all the records in that collection it returns a cursor then it i mean it loop through it loop through each record and display name and salary of each person and let me show you yeah already ins inserted two records now i'm going to insert another one yeah as you can see the record is inserted and displayed here here is how we can perform insert operation if you want to insert an arrays then you can simply write code like this suppose i want details in details section we just create a full name as name as sesikant and date of birth 000 like that this how you insert an array into mongodb and let me display that also there are any to display that we are going to take the details array and we are going to display full name as we are taking we as we are inserting as details dot full name and also details dot dvb that now i will show you how to insert yeah i will show you insert how to insert delete and updates so update records from the console itself yeah after inserting command it will return the inserted document id if you want to update a document collection name and here we need to give selector i mean which record you need to update here i'm giving id as this and i want to update name as new name as you can see here now the name is updated to new name i think the salary okay anyway here it will return the number of documents affected here only one document is affected here the selector may be any kind of selector here you can also give where name is expired i want to set the salary to so and so here i want to increment this record this record with salary 5000 as you can see there is no salary it is incremented it is incremented 5000 and the number of it returns the number of rows affected and to delete we can here we can give the syntax is employee dot remove and here the selector i want to delete delete the record with the id so and so as you can see the <coughs> record is deleted and it also returns the number of rows affected this is how we we perform crud operations in mongodb in metajs
next thing we are going to talk about is security so by default meter comes with two packages which are related to security one is insecure and auto publish as you can see here auto publish publish the entire database to all clients that means it publishes all the data which is in the server to all the clients this is not recommended because whatever the data you have in your server will be published to all clients and also here another package insecure insecure allows all database writes by default that means every user can modify any any record in our in our database we don't want like this It means we don't want user to user to have uh, access to each and every record and it. so by whenever you create a project first delete this until now we work with these two packages installed so that is why we can as you can see here we can insert data from client side and uh, we can modify them and uh, we can delete them from the console even from the console itself so first first of all uh, first of all every time you create a meter project first remove these two packages after removing these two packages you can allow you can define rules on what user can modify and uh, what uh, and what records you have the access and uh, you can have the access and and what records you don't have the access you can specify them in, in the server side i will show you example after removing auto publish and insecure packages user user database don't have any any records because we removed auto publish that means we are not publishing any records to the user now we need to publish some records to the user we are publishing employees details and in this function I'm returning here I am publishing all the records to the user and in the client side we need to subscribe to this publication to get to get the records here we are subscribing subscribing for employees yeah now user has employee collection um, employee collection records now we are setting some rules for the user i mean some permissions that means user can insert the insert and update the records but we are we are not giving him the access to delete the records yeah here here i have wrote the code as you can see here on the employee collection i am allowing user for the insert operation for the insert operation i am returning true that means i am allowing a user to perform insert operation on employee collection here we are also allowing user to uh, to perform update operation on employee collection but we are not we are not allowing the user to perform remove operation on a record in the allow operation you can also write some conditions as return user id user id returns the currently logged in user information if there are any 
if there if there are no users lo currently logged in then it returns false that means we are not allowing the user when the user is not logged into our application this is very helpful and you can also perform some oper uh, conditions like in this doc we get the inserted record in this doc you can also perform something like if doc dot owner property is equal to user id that means the owner of the document is the currently logged in user then we are performing him to insert the record these are the few condition that we can use for now i am using a true and false yeah let me try to insert as we as user can insert and update records and he cannot delete the records let me try to add new record i'm um, giving me to your name salary 8888 i'm submitting as you can see the record is submitted that means user user have access to insert the record here i'm adding another one kadira thousand yeah it returns the id as you can see it is updated i mean it is inserted now i'm trying to update the record yes user have the access to update the record also it must allow us to perform update operation here when, when the id is this i want to set you can find all these set properties all these properties i mean set increment in mongodb documentations on set salary to 8888 as you can see here the kadira salary is updated as we have update access on that record now let me try to remove that record i'm pasting the same here as you can see in the log remove failed access denied because uh, we are restricting the user from the remove operation so the user cannot the user cannot delete a record uh, this is how you can perform i mean you can restrict the user to perform some actions on your database here um, there are some employee deny rules also you can find in uh, meteor documentations you find it in meteor documentation and now i'm going to tell you a small tips i'm changing to my working directory and when you type meteor mango on your terminal it will give mango mango console to you that means you can perform mango operation here let us like show collections as you know that employee is employee collection is created by us remember that if you want to access the mango db from the terminal meter must be running yeah, as you can see here my meter is running i'm accessing the database you can perform actions um, like you can you can also access the database while the meter is running from the uh, from some third party applications uh, i i used this robo mango which is working fine just uh, install the robo mango it is available for all platforms go to create and then if you working on local host you can uh, you can give log address as local host and the port is 3001 all the meter runs on 3000 the mong uh, you can access the database from the port 3001 and then save the settings and then you can connect it is a good gui and uh, you can perform some actions if you want to 
everyone yeah that's it thanks for watching if you like the video hit like and subscribe for more videos thank you